Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming today to learn more about diabetes and whether its complications had been foot ulcers. So by now you all finished the self-evaluation and pre-presentation quiz. I appreciate you all doing that. It's going to greatly increase our knowledge on what you all know about diabetes and diabetic foot ulcers out of the public. So the answers to those quiz, those quiz questions will be throughout the presentation. So make sure you pay attention. All right, here's our outline for today. So basically these are also our objectives for today. So I want you to become more aware of diabetes statistics, how it's affecting Americans and how many Americans it's being, are being affected. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about diabetes, what it actually is, type one versus type two. But some of you may not know that or may not be clear on that. And then we're going to talk about one of diabetes' many complications, diabetic foot ulcers. So our goal here is to increase your knowledge on these, these subjects, as well as peripheral neuropathy, which can lead to diabetic foot ulcers. And our main goal here is that y'all understand the importance of prevention, self-management, and implement this, these techniques in your everyday life. We're going to talk about glucose monitoring, foot care, foot hygiene, and then we'll wrap up with um, a little closing and a survey. Okay, so let's talk about the impact of diabetes. Many of you have diabetes or know someone who has diabetes, but a few of you actually know like the actual numbers of those individuals with diabetes in the United States. So we're going to talk about that. So here's some statistics according to the American Diabetes Association. So in 2012, 29.1 million Americans had diabetes. This is almost 10% of the entire American population. This is just astronomical. So we're looking at 21 million were diagnosed. But that number is not as surprising as 8.1 million were undiagnosed. So this is 8.1 million Americans going through their daily lives with diabetes, not knowing that they have it, not knowing the prevention and management for this condition. And additionally, 1.4 million Americans are diagnosed every year. And in 2010, it was the seventh leading cause of death. This is just, I mean, diabetes is a, is a big deal, and that's why you're all here. Okay, so let's talk about what is diabetes going from type 1 versus type 2. All right, so type 2, type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. So this means your body is attacking its own cells. And the cells in particular here are beta cells inside the pancreas that are creating insulin. And so this means that the body does not have insulin, which is bad because insulin is what brings the glucose out of the bloodstream and stores it in the body. So this leads to what we have here at the top of the screen, hyperglycemia, which chronic hyperglycemia causes a lot of issues in the body. And this is why we need to treat it, most likely with supplemental insulin. Okay, so next we'll talk about type two. So with type two, the body has insulin, but we're in a state of insulin resistance and the insulin isn't working as well, and it's not pulling the glucose out of the bloodstream as well as it should, which again leads to hyperglycemia, or high blood glucose. Good news about type two, it's preventable with diet and exercise, and it's also easily managed with proper diet, exercise, and in some cases, oral hypoglycemic medications. So, now let's talk about the diabetic foot ulcer. So we know diabetes has many complications, one of which is the diabetic foot ulcer, which we'll talk about in detail today. So, the diabetic foot ulcer. Here's an image here on the right showing many of the locations on the foot that are prone to getting an ulcer. And the diabetic foot ulcer arises from peripheral neuropathy, which is the loss of sensation in the extremities, you know, the hands, the feet. But with diabetics, it's mainly going to be affecting the feet. And we have two main causes for these ulcers. There's going to be pressure and injury. 
So with pressure, a normal individual with, with normal feeling in their feet, they're gonna feel discomfort when, when there's too much pressure on their foot and they're gonna either remove a tight shoe or shift their positioning. With someone with peripheral neuropathy, they don't get this feedback, they don't feel the discomfort. So they stay in this uh, condition of excess pressure, which leads to skin breakdown, which will then lead to an ulcer, eventually an open wound, as well as injury can cause similar issues. So 